And all it took was a little bit of a magic from A Magic Palette by Juvia's Place. Oh, do you guys see that? You need to get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Dom Lace for another video. Yes, I have my Christmas decorations put up. Today I'm going to be using the, the Magic Mini by Juvius. The color story is amazing. Warm tones at top and you have your cool tones at the bottom. So pretty. Let me go ahead and put her eye on my eyes and I'll be right back. First, we're going to go in with a little bit of the P. Louise Bay in the shade Rumor 2. So this one is like pinkish undertone one. I'm going to be taking a Morphe 224 right here. And I'm going to pack the P. Louise base all over my lid. Okay, okay. Let me get to it. <laughs> but how was everybody's Thanksgiving? Oh, I know I didn't feel the same, did it? Like this year, it was... Ooh, very different. But I hope everyone had a fun time with their family. I hope everyone had a amazing feast, you know. Thanksgiving is about being thankful, you know. Being grateful to have family around and spend time and just make memories, you know what I mean? So guys, I hope you cherish Thanksgiving and I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Who's ready for Christmas? Because I am. This is my favorite time of the year. I love it to death. I love this as an eye base primer. Like, it looks really nice. But the only thing with this is you have to make sure it gets to a tacky base. Magic Palette Mini. So, yeah. Um, in this palette, you have six mattes and ten shimmers. Ah. Oh. Beautiful. Now, guys, do you love it when palettes are more shimmers than mattes or more mattes than shimmers? Or do you like all shimmer palettes or do you like all matte palettes? You comment down below and let me know. And, guys, it's very affordable. Remember that. Juvia's Place is affordable. And if I had a code, which would be House Dom, if I did, you guys would have 10% off. But I don't. Through the shade Zakia, which is this beautiful, just red earth tone and I'm gonna pack that into the Cree Morphe M441 brush. I love this. It's very fluffy and I have good control on where I want the product to go. You see how colorful and pigmented this palette is? All Juvia's Place palettes are very pigmented like this. And I'm just using Zakia just to build up more and more. The more you build it up, the more you would get the color that you are looking for with this shade. Even though it's very pigmented first blow. But once you start blending it, it will start like fading away, which is what you want in an eyeshadow but I just want to make sure I pack the color on before I go on to another shade. And by the way, guys, I want to wish Smooth Beauty Cosmetics a happy two year. It's been two years since the brand basically came to be. Um, if you haven't checked it out, guys, I will link, link it down in the link below. Um, it's an amazing black-owned skincare line. Oh, products are amazing. Keep an eye out on that brand. I swear that brand is amazing. Then I'm going to go into Nana just to make sure everything looks nice and clean at the top. Another Morphe M441. If you don't have it, you better get it. These are good blending brushes. Next, I'm going to go into the shade Ife. And Yajide, right here, these two purple shades in the palette. Well, one's a navy blue and the other one's purple. I'm just going to blend the two out. And then I'm going to basically go under everything that I did just to give it a little bit more dimension. And I always take a little card like this, blend. Then... 
my natural eye cut will be just like that. Now we're gonna pack on some shimmer shades. Are you excited? Cause I am gonna let it get a little tacky. Bozo, this greenish teal shade. And we're just gonna pack her up. Yes God, yes God, won't you do it? Shade called Nubia, a real true gold. This is a yellowish gold. It doesn't have green or anything in it. It's really yellowish gold. It's like a pure gold. So now we're gonna add that in the middle. I said middle. In the middle. Do you see how pigmented these bitches are, girl? Now we're gonna go back into Bozo. That green shade. I think I'm going to use another shimmer shade too to blend the two together. I'm going to go into the shade Yara. We're going to fuse the gold and the green shimmer together. Let's see. Ooh. It just helps complement the two shades together really nicely. I'm going to go into the shade Fossil, but I'm also going to mix it in with Emoji. Put it right there. She's silver. I think I'm going to mix the two together. Oh yes, that is pretty. And then that shade on top of it. Yes, yes, we did that. Now let's go back into that gold shade in Nubia. Just to blend the shades together. Oh, that is pretty. That is pretty, it's very colorful. Now we're gonna go into the shade Faso, that purplish, like reflex bluish shade. Just in the inner corner like that. Yeah, I think that looks good. Yes, I think that looks good. I think that looks really nice. I have this Stila liner, I love this. But I think it looks really cute. And also my eyes, like everybody's face is not the same. Like somebody's eye might be like this. So my eyelid face might be bigger than the other. So guys, like I said, my face is not perfect. I don't have no Botox. So I don't have nothing to actually cheat off or any feelers to actually make my face look more like even out, like you know what I mean? So. It is what it is. And with my favorite NARS Radiant Long Wearing Foundation right here in the shade Punjab. This is my shade. This is my Holy Grail foundation. If you don't know that, now you know. All right, priming the face. And I already used the Smooth Beauty Cosmetics Detox Charcoal Mask. And also, I use the Night Cream because it's not day no time no more filming this. I use the Night Cream and it's very like a cooling effect. And it keeps my face from being so red and I love it and it's very hydrating too. So I'm gonna go ahead and glow up with the e.l.f. Glow Up Primer Serum. I love this, it has like a little gold reflexes. I'm just gonna pump it louder, pump it louder. And I love to do padding motions. Next we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. Primer to go with the Elf Glow Up Serum. Q 
Can't Stop, Won't Stop a Concealer, and it is in the shade Beige. I'm going to do this first because I want to make sure I'm very full coverage at the where my concealer is. And I'm going to be taking the this brush right here from the Gilded Collection of Morphe. And I'm just going to blend out the bottom part. Because I want to keep the coverage of the concealer under my eye. And this is a very thick concealer. And I'm also going to take this concealer around my hairline. There's the Radiant on wearing foundation. Now, if you haven't gotten your hands on the NARS Radiant on wear foundation, then I don't know what you are waiting for. And I hope this video that it is not blurry because um, sometimes it looks like it's not focusing it on me. And I'm like, girl, why not? I am the party. Oh, she thick. She a thick girl. She a thick girl. She a thickums. Oh, I feel very fresh, very good. Ooh, it looks amazing. Now we're going to jump into the contouring, I think, and then we're gonna do concealer. But I also have these two Makeup Revolution powders in the shade Lace and Beige. Lace is like a transition shade I use under my eyes, and beige is what I use all over my face, so it can like, look cohesive and then I'm going to take this brush right here or this spatula looking brush and we're gonna flip this contour onto our cheeks I know I'm bouncing around. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows real quick before I start anything else. Now I'm going to go in with the foundation shade and then actually like cut my brows and I'll be taking a Morphe M124 brush just to clean it up. Do you see that? Sharp. Me too. 
add a little bit under my brow. And I don't want to mess up my eyeshadow. Now what we got to do is conceal, but I feel like I need to go in with a little bit more of the contour shade. And the concealer I'm using is my Holy Grail Concealer, L'Oreal. Paris Infallible Full Coverage, well, Full Wear Concealer. Now we're going to go on with a beauty blender. Oh, that looks, you look really good. You look really good today. You know when you drink water, you're very hydrated and you do a wonderful bomb ass skincare regimen today. Oh. I'm gonna be using lace to set my highlights. Ooh, I look snatched, period. Now we're gonna go in with a little bit of this CoverGirl Queens collection, which is the Queen Latifah collection. I love this, this is very pretty and it blends very well with the contour shade I use. And I'm going to go in with this fluffy, beautiful brush I love to use. This is the M405 brush. And I'm going to go ahead and swirl. Yes. I was bringing it up because we're snatching, snatching the face today. We're gonna look really con, con, con. Sissy that walk, period. But you know when you do makeup, you just get into the full fantasy, the full fantasy. Cause we're painted, we're painted, we're, we are painted. This is what you call painted. The blush I'm gonna be using is from Mulani. And if you guys are a true follower of this channel, you know of this blush so much. This shade is Rose Dior. Rose Dior. And this face is coming together because these are my favorite products. Like these are the products that I used when I first started doing makeup. So I know how they work. I know they work wonderful. And this blush has a little shimmer as you guys can do. But that's why we're putting majority of the blush in the front. A little warmness in the middle right there. And it's a little bit up into your contour. I remember I used to always do that. Just to warm it up a little bit.
Okay, now we're just gonna dust all the rest of the powder. And when I do that, I'm going to be using my, my Superstay Full Coverage Foundation Powder. I love this to actually like set everything. This is my all over brush I like to use. This is from the Gilded Collection from with Morphe. And it's just so fluffy. And then you can just take the powder and use it to blend out the rest of the powder that you have on your face. I want to set my face using the Morphe Times Jeffree Star setting spray. Five dollars, Morphe. Five dollars. With the highlighter, my favorite part. This is the Ofra Times Nikki Tutorials, and this shade is called Glow Goals. Now, the reason why I like this is because it reminds me a lot of the, the Maybelline highlighter, but this one is really cute. Peachy, pinky, or like a rose gold highlight that I really go for. My brush at, oh, I don't know where it is. <laughs> Someone has stole my brush. Who stole my brush? That's not it. Someone stole my brush, guys. I mean, I don't know. Nobody stole my brush for real, but I can't find it. It's my favorite, like, highlighting brush I have. Here we go. From the Gilded Collection, Morphe. And I do not have a Morphe code. I should. How many times I be plugging them in my videos? But, oh, this is so amazing. Mm-hmm. We don't call glow goals for nothing, okay? Glow goals for nothing. All right. Now, let's go ahead and take it over here. Girl, y'all can't tell me nothing. Y'all can't tell me. Oh, it's just like liquid. It's so wet. So wet. So now I'm just gonna put that right there. A little bit done here on this chin. Chinny chin chin of mine. Now, with the nose, we gotta get a little tiny brush. That's going to get enough just right in the middle. Again, Gilded Collection, Morphe. And then the trick is a little bit right there. That is so pretty. This highlighter. Uh, you cannot go wrong. She just looks so wet on my face, like so wet. And then just to blend her out a little bit more, just gonna take the excess powder that we have on this brush and blend it out. Magic palette, yes, because we gotta finish the lower lid. And I think what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna play with the shimmers under the eye to keep it very form with, with the eyelid. Let me get my milk pencil. Oh, look at that white, told you. Enhances. Go back into the shade for sure. And we're gonna take that right here. Next, we're gonna go on to the shade Emoji. I'm gonna go into the shade Nubian, which is this beautiful gold shade.
And then last, we're gonna go into that green shade Bozo. Now, we're just gonna add a little bit of Nana and Zakia together and tap it off. And then we're just gonna blend it down at the bottom just to tie everything up together. Oh, yes. That looks really cute. But to whiten up the eye, I'm going to go in with this white shade right here. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the eyes for me. <laughs> now, I'm gonna go in with a Jeffree Star lip. These products are amazing. Um, this is the shade Christmas Cookie. This is a beautiful nude, um, and I feel like that would look really good with this eye look. I'm using Trendsetter as an outliner for my lips. Let me go ahead and sharpen it real quick. Now we're gonna go into Christmas cookie. Christmas time, Christmas cookie, duh. Like what else are I gonna go into? Celebrity skin, maybe, but no, this is Christmas cookie. And we're just placing her right in the middle and then we're gonna blend her out. match today like this lighting looks really good ooh yeah yeah that's the lip mm-hmm yeah there we go. We're not messing with the lip no more because it is really cute, really cute. I'm gonna add a mold. You know what? I'm feeling very, mm, I don't know, I'm feeling this look. I think I need to add like a little mold, right? Yes, we do. A little beauty mark. Now we just need to do lashes and I'll be right back for that. Next we're gonna go into Better Than Sex. Mascara for my lower lashes. This is a bad girl bang. I remember when this came out, this was the hype. I had to have it and I got it. And I barely have any lashes down there. So yeah, that is it. So now we're going to spray the face one more time. And we're here. We're here. Ah, uh, I think it looks amazing. You hear me? I think it looks really good, guys. I'm serving you looks. You hear me? And all it took was a little bit of a magic from a magic palette by Juvia's Place. Ah, uh, do you guys see that? You need to get into it. Get into it, honey. Thank you, Juvia's Place. Even though I bought all of your products and haven't made it on your PR listing yet, which hopefully I will soon, but I have all your products basically, and I love every single one of them. And this is one of my favorite palettes from you other than Warrior One and Two. But this palette right here, oh, beautiful. And the shimmers, do you see that on my eye? I can't squint, so don't judge me, but yeah. It looks good. It looks real good. 
Oh, I'm just feeling myself today. I feel very cute, very festive. This is a look, and I got my mold. Love you guys. Bye.